about the overall design considerations that have gone into the Emotion Hybrid. The Emotion Hybrid is what the United States Navy calls a palletized black box propulsion system. But it's not just a propulsion system because it affects all of the hotel loads on the boat. So it's a propulsion system and electrical system. And, oops, and that might be an E. Um, what this means is that it's made up of components that all go together that can be put in or taken out. We have a battery pack. We have electric motors. They push propellers. We have an inverter. We have cross chargers. And these can make anything. They can make 12 volts. They can make 24 volts. They can make 36 volts. They can make 48 volts. They can make any kind of other voltage that you need. The inverters are going to make your AC. Um, beyond that, we have renewable inputs from solar, from a shore power charger, Renewable input from the motor, which is a regenerative motor. And soon um, we will be able to take a windmill and also have it as, as input uh, to the system. And then we have whatever the world comes up with. We also have generators. DC. Which are brushless DC because right now they are the most efficient generators in the world. So, these go out, this goes both ways, and these all come in. Sometime in the future, we may take the DC generator out and replace it with a fuel cell. Sometime in the future we may take the lead acid technology out which is up here and replace it with a nickel metal hydride that is a quarter or a half of the weight um, and, and takes up a quarter or a half of the space. These batteries right now, uh, done by Nylar, which we're, we're offering uh, for certain uh, users that can afford them, because they're not cheap yet, um, but they are available. Um, a, a battery pack comparable to a 4D battery pack is in the neighborhood of twenty to twenty-five thousand um, dollars. That's quite a lot of money, but it's available. And because it's available, um, again, these are things that are electronic, that are uh, looking for higher production numbers to get the cost down. And uh, we fully expect that that same $20,000 battery pack in the next two or three years might only be $12,000 or $13,000. These batteries here, 
which are Odyssey batteries, which are thin plate pure lead batteries, actually take a much higher charge and will last six times as long as the standard lead acid technologies that we have. Um, again, they're more expensive, but they're not that terrible much more expensive. Um, we're also using AGM batteries by DECA. So for the battery pack, we have a series of different battery technologies. And of course, you've all heard uh, about the latest, which is lithium ion, where we're looking at a fifth of the weight and a fifth of the, uh, uh, or five times the power density. And um, uh, those batteries, again, are still too expensive to apply to our system, but there's something that in the near future, the price will come down, and then out will go the lead acid, and in will go the nickel metal hydrides, or in will go the lithium ions. Or, if a new technology comes up between uh, uh, now and the time that your battery pack uh, wears out, in will go whatever that new guy is. In fact, if inverters suddenly come up with a new electronic breakthrough to make the inverter better than 94% efficient, or lighter, or both, then out goes this technology and in goes the new one. What happens is all of these different things um, are independently replaceable without changing the basic operating parameters of the entire system. Um, they all will either feed from or feed to the battery pack. They will all work on the same 144 volts DC and they will all provide you with uh, a system that is more than capable to do all of the things that you want to do. In fact, um, the inverter systems that we are hooking up to there are typically 3.5 or 6 kilowatts. Now this is unheard of numbers. This is the equivalent of a 30 amp shore power service. This is the equivalent of a 50 amp shore power service. Um, my Lagoon 47 um, actually has a 3.5 kilowatt, but for the, that's because I'm testing a new technology. It, for four and a half years, had a 6 kilowatt inverter. So when I was on the hook, I had the equivalent of a 50 amp service. That means that I have a refrigerator, a freezer, the ice maker, the Mr. Coffee, the bread maker, my uh, navigation station chair is an iJoy massage chair, and I have two air conditioners, and my wife has the exact same uh, uh, amenities on the boat that she would have um, in a house. And uh, uh, we have seen through the last 10 years that hotel loads are continually escalating. That the efficiency of air conditioners um, and, and these various different devices are getting better and better all the time. And what this system now facilitates is the use of those devices on our boats so that if you spend 300000 to a million dollars on a brand new boat, you can have the amenities that should come with that boat. In fact, because of the way the system is set up, if you didn't spend $300,000, if you only spent $150,000 and got a smaller boat in the 35 to 40 foot range, you can still have all of the same amenities that you had when you were uh, uh, at home. Whatever you want on your boat, whether it's air conditioning or uh, uh, the bread maker or whatever you want um, is all available. And as the technologies evolve, the system will evolve with it.